came from Israel. I grew up in a family that was traditional. We didn't keep Shabbos, but we had Kiddush. For me, it was like a um, cultural thing, like eating bagel and lax, you know? <laughs> when I was 19, just wanted to go for vacation, so I decided to leave Israel, go to Miami, and then ended up staying. You know, I like the sun, I like uh, <laughs> the whole scene of Miami. I said, if I want to be an American, I might as well know about American history. So just one day, I, want, I said, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble, going to read about American history, and OK, it's another stage in becoming completely an American. And then on my way out of the library, I noticed there was a group of people sitting around a rabbi with a white beard, and he was reading them Jewish tales. So I was just curious. I said, I just want to know what's going on. And it was such a nice story. It touched something. And I stayed for another hour listening to stories. So then at the end, they said, um, there are Tanya classes every Wednesday, the new Chabad Shul. So Tanya, it's probably more stories like this. I didn't know what was Tanya. So I went to this class. He introduced the book of Tanya. I don't know, I came out of there. I never had such a feeling before. I was like on a spiritual high. I went into my little red car. And instead of putting music, I like, I like I said, I'm not gonna touch the radio if it's gonna ruin this feeling. And then I started thinking, what do I really want in life? Uh, I mean, a, a car doesn't make me happy. The beach doesn't make me, you know, feel fulfilled. The only time I felt that I really had a meaningful day is every Wednesday when I came back from Tanya. So I told my friends, you know, they called me, listen, we're going out, are you coming? Tell them, no, I'm going to Yeshiva in New York. It was such a big change. My friends were shocked, like, what's going on with you? They, oh, they finally got you, they brainwashed you. I tell them, well, if something's dirty, you need to wash it. And I'm happy, I want to do it. I'm I was so complete with this decision. I'm, I'm still happy that I made this decision. Um, it was the greatest year of my life. Right now, I'm just go, I'm doing what Hashem wants me to do and I'm happy about it, I'm fulfilled. If this rabbi wouldn't be in this library, where would I be now? Probably be tanning at the beach, you know, coming back from work and doing the same thing all over again. But he put himself out there. He took out of his time and put himself in a place where it's another from press, just, just to read stories and look where it got me. It saved my whole world. It saved me, it's my life.